So we've now all had some days of uh, trying to get used to working at home and what it's like and uh, the reality is really sinking in. I'm just going to offer here five suggestions all backed by what experts say makes good sense to see if any of them appeal to you and uh, make your life in any way easier. First, it really is important to have a clear divide in your own homes between working space and relaxing space. So find an area which is special just for work, get up at the usual time in the morning, come into work. Some people find even that it's helpful to wear the clothes that they wear to work and then finish uh, work at the normal time. And when you finish work, turn off the phone, put the uh, laptop, uh, close it down, switch off your screen. That really is then, it's over. That is work. And then you're into uh, relaxing mode and you're in a way a, a, a different person. Secondly, it's so important to uh, keep in touch in a friendly way with people at work. So uh, morning tea, lunch times, afternoon coffee, whatever it is that you do together, uh, keep online, keep chatting. It's, it's uh, what we all need just to keep us going. Thirdly, exercise. We tend to forget that uh, we often have walked into work uh, getting exercise and you need to um, uh, keep uh, the body physically active uh, throughout the day. Obviously, we're only supposed to be out once uh, uh, a day, uh, but some people are finding an early morning walk or a walk at the end of the day and keep the paces uh, going. It really does make everybody feel uh, better if you've burnt up quite a lot of energy through physical exercise and indeed exercise uh, in your home if you have space. Checking in fourthly with the boss. Uh, everybody needs to feel that they're uh, doing a good job, that their work is, is valued uh, and uh, uh, of the right uh, standard. So checking in with your boss regularly just to ensure that um, you are on the right lines, most of all at this very difficult and unusual time for uh, everybody. Uh, and fifthly, optimism. It, it's important that we all keep each other's spirits up. We are going to get through this period. Um, and uh, the more optimistic we can be, the less we catastrophize about how bad it is, the more we can share uh, uplifting stories with each other at work, uh, the better uh, and almost the quicker we'll get through it. And then just one or two thoughts about uh, the end of the day, uh, the weekends, uh, what can you do to really ensure that you find new opportunities at this time to enrich your uh, lives? This is very important and there is no better place to look, I believe, than Action for Happiness uh, on their website. And there's a 10 point plan there for um, leading happier and less stressful, anxious lives. Uh, it's called Great Dream. And just to finish with uh, three ideas uh, from that. Uh, so each of those 10 letters in Great Dream stand for a different evidence-based action that we can all undertake. Uh, G in giving, in great is about giving uh, and giving to each other. Uh, and this is, um, we know, um, the more that we do give to others, the happier we feel. R is about relating and in what ways uh, can you use this time to relate even better uh, to people, to, to more distant members of the family, friends you haven't been in touch with maybe for a long time? Are there any relationships that in fact you can heal at this time? Uh, because wouldn't that be a good thing uh, at this time of crisis to come back together uh, and restore relationships? And finally, T in great stands for trying out. So what can you do at 
this time, which you might not otherwise have been able to find the time to do, to try out new things? Could it be uh, painting uh, is, for example, something that you've wanted uh, to do, or, or singing, or, or learning uh, an instrument, or improving uh, your um, practice on an instrument, or maybe learning a language or, online, or maybe starting a a new course, or maybe doing something very unusual, such as if you're right-handed, uh, right with your left. All these things uh, exercise uh, the brain. We are going to, of course, get through this. Uh, we'll get through it uh, all the better by sharing uh, what's very best about uh, human beings and, uh, and uh, our life. Uh, and the very best of luck to all of you. And thank you.